This video will focus on creating a virtual machine using OpenShift virtualization, connecting to it from other pods, as well as connecting to other pods from the virtual machine. Let's start by looking at the other pods we'll be using first. We have a simple app pod, which is a PHP pod that returns back some information about the pod itself, as well as where the request is coming from. And in order to support that, we've created a service. We have our simple service, as well as a route. And if we browse to that route, we can see the information that is returned back, where the request was coming from. There are two IPs here because it is being forwarded through the uh, uh, load balancer, through the HA proxy load balancer to get over to our application or into our OpenShift cluster. That's why there's two. So let's first start by creating a new virtual machine. Select create a new virtual machine here. I'm going to choose this Fedora 33 template, which has been provided by another administrator. I can select this option, hit next. I know that this is a community supported template. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and change our name here. I want to save this name because we're going to need it in a moment. And we have the option of modifying some properties here. For example, right now, by default, I only have one CPU and one gigabyte of memory as an option available to me, but I could customize the virtual machine if I wanted to in order to set whatever values I want, including storage, uh, as well as CPU and memory and the network connectivity. This one, I don't need to modify that for, I'm just gonna click create, and we will see after a moment that our virtual machine gets started. If you're a quick guide and saw a launcher error there, that was because we were waiting for the persistent volume claim to be created and the PVC to be bound. So our virtual machine is now running. While that's booting up, I'm gonna move down here and we're going to create a service to point at our virtual machine. So the first thing I want to do is erase the existing YAML, save our name, and then I happen to have a very handy service template available for us. We'll name it after our virtual machine. All I'm doing here is naming our service after the virtual machine and then telling it I want to select based off of the name of the virtual machine. Again, this time it is Wooden Moose. So we'll hit Create there. And now we've created a service that points at port 80 on our virtual machine. Moving back to the VM, at this point it has fully booted, so we'll go ahead and log in. Now this password was set by CloudInit that was specified in the virtual machine template that I used to clone the virtual machine. So. If you don't happen to know that VM, you can see, uh, or the, excuse me, that password, we can see up here the show password, and it'll actually show that to us so long as it is in the cloud init. If we don't use cloud init, then it won't be able to show us that password there. Now, I can do things like ping the outside world, if I so choose. I can also access our other pod based service. So, for example, I can do a curl s against our simple service, and we get back our simple service. Notice that our requester IP is going to be different. This is because it's coming from the SDN. This is an SDN IP address, 1.31.0.164. Let's go ahead and install a web server. So this will take just a moment. I'll speed up the video so that way we don't have to watch this. All right, our HTTPD server, our Apache web server is installed. Let's go ahead and create an index.html file. I'm going to create a very simple hello world index.html just to prove that it works. And start the web server. I do a curl against that, we see that we get back our hello world. Now, to prove that we can connect from other pods, from other services running inside of our cluster, let's connect to that pods template. So we'll use the simple app that we used before. And just like we did from the virtual machine, we'll query for our virtual machine's name. Remember, it was Wooden Moose. and we get back our hello world. 
So this has been a very simple, very quick example of creating a virtual machine that can connect to pods, that can access services hosted on pods, as well as allowing pods to access services hosted in virtual machines. For more videos about OpenShift virtualization, be sure to watch the channel. Thank you and have a great day.